Hi guys, it is that time of year again. It is my Halloween collab with Ash from Makeup and Chaos. We've been doing this the last three years and it's always a lot of fun. This year we are using the Ghost Town USA palette from Nomad Cosmetics. Last year we did the Haunted Europe, so much fun. And this year we are just allowing our creativity to flow. We are We can do whatever we want to do. No rules, no bingo, no, no nothing. We're just doing whatever. So if you want to see the look that I create with this palette, then stick around. Welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Andy and I'm really happy that you're here. Okay, we are starting out with Urban Decay Primer Potion. Guys, it's almost gone. I do have a backup. I feel like I've said this like four or five times. I do have a backup. I do. I'm not going to open it yet. I have a couple of eye primers that I need to really concentrate on. Oh no, is it is it done? <gasps> no, I have another eye to do. Okay, we have we have a little bit a little bit left in there. With this eye primer, I don't usually set it. I have eye primers that I do set. This one I don't. I feel like it works better when I don't set it. Also, I did a three looks one palette with this, which I will link up in the cards. I felt like the days that I didn't use my Ace Beauté eye primer and I, because I always set that, I feel like the days I didn't do that were better uh, as far as this formula. This formula was a little tricky for me. Let's go ahead and get started. One, two. Okay. Um, I try not to have a plan because I feel like when I plan things, they don't go as well as when I don't plan them. I feel like the ones that are more spontaneous turn out better. I don't know. That could, that could just, that could just be me. I don't know. When I did my three looks, when I did my three looks, I did a look with this, a look with this, and a look with this. And, um, today I'm not being so strict. I'm going to move around the palette a little bit. I am. Okay, we're going to go into Dead Man's Hand right here. And I'm going to put that on the outer part of my lid. So freaking pigmented, oh my gosh. The issue that I had with this palette when I did my three looks was not with the mattes, it was with the shimmers. And uh, Nomad was kind enough to replace the palette for me. Best customer service of any brand I've ever, ever dealt with. Ever. Best customer service. No questions asked. And it was just, okay, we'll send one out to you. And it was like, no, no problem. Okay. I am going to go into... How much different is that dead man's hand from the Calamity Jane? Let me look. There's a little bit of a difference. So now I'm going to go into Calamity Jane, which is right here. And I'm going to just bl use that to blend. I'm going to with the same brush. Um, right beside. Just to kind of uh, create a gradient. It is really similar. Not crazy. It is really similar. <clears throat> it didn't swatch similarly. Like this looks a lot lighter. So now I'm going to go into Skinner's Saloon, which is the lighter bluey gray shade. I'm going to do that in the front part of my lid. There is a little bit of creasing there because I have mature eyelids, you guys. I do. So are you guys... Subscribe to Ash. Ash is one of my very best friends. Ash is one of my best friends. And I love collabing with him so much because I already know that their look is going to be amazing. So I need to really step it up. Step it up. Okay. I think I went a little higher on that than I really wanted to. Um, so now, 
Now I'm going to go into this Bandit Queen right here, that brown. Did you see that? This right here. And I'm going to put that a little above. This, the browns in this palette are a lot cooler on their skin than they are in the palette. They look like warm browns in the palette, um, but they are very, very cool brown shades. I have my mirror over here, so I hope I'm actually looking straight, straight forward in the camera, except for when I'm doing this eye. And I'm just patting. I'll look that more creasy. I'm just patting because I do have mature lids and when I go straight in with the windshield wiper motion, uh, it tends to be very, very creasy. So after I get that base of that down, then I'll go through windshield wiper motions. I wonder if my neighbors are having a party or something. I hear a bunch of people out there. Okay, now I'm going to go into Undead Sheriff, which is this shade right there. And I'm going to blend out that brown with that brown. Yeah, I think I like that. I think I do. I think I do. All right, then. Now we're going to go with shimmers. I do not like applying shimmers with my finger. I don't like it. I don't feel like I have the control over my finger my finger, I forgot I swatched those shades, um, as I do a brush. I like the control that I have with a brush, especially a flat brush. So I'm going to, I'm going to go into this Garnet Montana right here, and I'm going to put that on the center to outer part of my lid. I need to move my mirror up, so hopefully you guys can't see that, but I can't see anything. When I did my three looks one palette, I used a brush, I used a sponge tip, and I used my finger. And my third day, which was my favorite look, um, I, I liked the way it applied with a brush. I don't like that, you guys. I'm going in with brush. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm not spraying it, though. Maybe because I already have some down. Yeah. I already have some down. I can feel it falling on my face. These are a very creamy, um, cl um, these are a very creamy shimmer. They're like, um, I don't know. They're just like a clay feel. They're swishy. They're very swishy. Yeah, I like that. I like it. So apply it with your finger and then maybe go over it with a brush. Maybe, maybe. Okay, now. <clears throat> hmm. I was not going to use the Ghost Town, which is this pink here. I wanted to stay away from that, but I think I might. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go into Quicksilver which is this shade right here. I just did a bunch of swatches to see what would, what would work, man, what would work. And I'm going to put that on the center to front part, but not the inner corner. Hmm. 
Yeah. I'm going to take that Garnet Montana, Garnet Montana, and I'm going to go up a little further because I like my shimmers to go up just slightly over my crease because I do have hooded eyes. Just slightly. Yep. Yep. That. Okay. Now I'm going to go back into Quicksilver and go above. This is not. Hmm. No, I did not have to spray these shimmers at all. I did not spray them. Okay, now I'm going to take the other side of the brush and just blend those two together, which those are not super blendable to each other because one is a blue and one is a copper. They're kind of opposite each other on the color wheel, but I like it. And then on the front of my lid, on the front of my lid, I'm going to go into this tombstone. No, I'm not. I'm going into Rhyolite Nevada. This one right here. I am using a brush, but I might change that. That's good. I'm just going to the front, the very, very front part of my lid. I will probably be putting that on my inner corner. Yeah, I like that. You guys, I don't ever do blues and browns together. I don't ever do that, but I really like that. And so now I'm going to go back into the Bandit Queen, that middle brown that I used. And blend this upper transition area out a little bit more. I don't know why. What I should do, and I never do this, and I tell myself this all the time. What I should do is put my shimmers on and then go over it. And I just don't. I don't, I don't listen to myself. I don't. Come back into under Undead Sheriff, which is that lightest brown, and blending that out. I'm really happy with that. I'm going to go off camera, do my face makeup, my base, all of that, and probably put some stuff underneath my eyes. So don't go anywhere. Welcome back. This is my finished look for my Halloween collab with Ash from Makeup in Chaos. We used the Nomad. Ghost Town USA, and I do have to say that uh, we were friends, a little bit better friends this time around. Yes, we were. Um, I was on the struggle bus with the Three Looks One palette. I don't know if it's the formula. I don't know that if I just, I don't know if I just learned how to use the shimmers in the way that works for me. I don't know, but it doesn't matter because I really loved using it. I really enjoyed doing this look. I did. So if you want to know what is on the rest of my face, there will be a link in the description box below. And that is my shop, my link. And that is going to take you directly to the collection just for this video. It's going to show you everything that I used on my face, on my eyes, whatever. If I can find a link for it, it's going to be in there. Those are affiliate links. Just so you know, if you bought something using the link, I do get a commission. Just want to put that out there. Thank you, Ash, so much for another very fun collab. I always enjoy our collabs and I especially enjoy our Halloween collabs the best. So don't forget to go check out Ash. I will have a link to their channel in the description box below, as well as a link to their video. Go see what amazing look they create. 
Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you being here. And until our next adventure, everyone have a great day and we'll see you later.